hi guys you are welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be looking at how you can trade uh, volatility 75 index and step index on the lower time frames uh we'll be looking at uh, v75 first before we go to the lower time frames let's look at what has happened on the ir time frame on the on this very daily time frame i have v75 index showing me uh, that um, price uh, was initially bullish okay but we now have a retracement okay look at this retracement okay uh, so uh, it, it's a retracement because I was expecting the momentum to be somehow uh, you know uh, a high, I was expecting a higher momentum but it's as if uh the momentum is really slow okay and the way i'm looking at it it's like the bullish trend might likely continue okay so we might likely be seeing something uh, like this and price will uh, somehow go up but price needs to break this descending trend line before it goes up where are the places that we have uh, other blocks as price attempts to go up. Okay, we have this uh, uh, other block here that might serve as resistance. Uh, you know, this might serve as resistance, and uh, as price attempts to go up, we also have another other block around here that might also serve as resistance. Okay, now let, let's zoom. Let's zoom in on the daily. Let's look at what's going on. You can see that the, today's uh, candle is a recovery candle trying to engulf uh, yesterday's candle. And you can see what has happened. Price dipped up to this point, retraced, and dipped again. Okay, up to this point. Okay, and we are currently trying, and we are going to please see. Uh, that the buyers are trying to push price. If the buyers can push price above yesterday's high, and if we can close above yesterday's high, I'm talking about this high, then we can see price recovery to uh, the previous highs around here. But that's that. But uh, it's still a downtrend on the daily time frame. Still a downtrend unless the this descending trend line is broken if this this descending trend line is broken if it gets broken you might see price recovery to test the other blocks i mentioned earlier okay that's that for the daily time frame let's look at the four hour time frame volatility sense five index on the four hour time frame we can see uh that uh, we have a low around here we have a low around here. You can see that we have a low around here. Okay. And we have a lower low. This is a lower low. And this particular low is lower than the previous lows. Okay. And then we have a, the, the current lower low. Okay. And now this is a lower low in the sense that we have a tweezer bottom around here where this. Uh, particular bearish candle uh, you know is being completely you know uh, reversed by this bullish candle and price as you can see price is rising is currently at this particular area a break of this area a break of this high you will see price gets into this high before price gets to this high okay and then we might start to see some level of recovery okay so that's that on the four hour time frame in as on the four, four hour time frame in as much as this uh descending trend line holds okay uh if it holds as an if price gets to this point and descend then we can see uh the bearish trend is still gonna continue but if it breaks then we might have like a double bottom then we have a break of this neckline and then we have 
a test of this high and then we'll say we have a reversal of the uh, retracement because on the daily time frame this is still a retracement this down move is a retracement of this down move is a retracement of this particular up move okay so in as much as uh, it price didn't really calm down we can't call it a reversal but we can call it a retracement so let's look at the one hour time frame a quick look at the one hour time frame we can see uh this uh, descending trend line being broken around here okay got broken on the one hour time from around here where we have a change of character we have a change of character where this uh, neckline this particular neckline was broken you can see the neckline being broken okay uh, we have like uh, well, let's call it a triple bottom we have a triple bottom like a tree drive pattern this the first bottom uh, this is the second bottom uh, this is the third uh, bottom before we uh, before we had the break of uh, the descending trend line and then you can see price recovery okay right has got into this uh, um, area where we have the price broke this high we had a break of structure of this very high at the break of structure of this very high now price is testing the next high if this high gets broken price will get to uh, this the next high but let's see how it goes if the because currently it's still a retracement it's a retracement right now let's see if the retracement will end up as a reversal only time will tell okay moving on let's go to the 30 minutes time frame on the 30 minutes time frame we can see uh, inverted head and shoulder on the screen inverted head and shoulder this is the uh, left shoulder this is the head and this is the right shoulder okay and you can see the neck neckline got broken uh, the neckline got broken you know we had a it got broken we had a retest and the price is going up okay and for now price will continue to go up if and if this ascending trend line is respected okay so even as much as it's going up we could retrace and test this ascending trend line around it and continue okay it will keep going up only if the ascending trend line is respected the moment the ascending trend line gets broken price will go back to the bottom and then the trend uh, the overall bearish trend might continue okay but for now price is going up so you might want to look for buying opportunities on the 15 minutes time frame you can see the buyer stepping in it's clear that the buyers are in charge uh, the buyers are in control uh, they are trying to push price up okay on the five minutes time frame it's also clear that the buyers are in charge we continue to have higher high higher low so we have higher high uh, like uh this higher high this is a high uh this is a low okay this is a low this is a higher high okay and this higher low this low is this particular low this particular low is higher than this low okay and then we now have a higher high so that's the bullish structure okay if the higher high uh, goes further up we might see a uh, higher low then if the structure very bullish structure is continuous see higher high okay so for every higher high you only see higher low on the 15 minutes time on the five minutes time frame for now until we have a change of character where price dips and then continues downtrend looking at the one minute time frame look at 
price continues to go up okay uh on the one minute time frame you can see a range like an equilibrium around here so you might need to watch for uh, the breakout of this range okay if we break to the upside we might have continue to have a higher high on the five minutes but it breaks down to the downside we might be heading for the price might be heading for the higher low okay but if the bullish structure continues after the higher low we we'll have another higher high so look for buying opportunities for now on volatility 75 index you might wait for the higher low to be formed before you place your buy trade or you wait after the higher low is formed as it breaks of breaks out of this higher high you enter your buy trade okay looking at the five minutes it's quite obvious higher high higher low so you have to strategize how you place your entry your buy entry but the moment this trend line is broken okay you start looking for selling opportunities okay if it's broken around here start selling you can sell up to this point and you can sell up to this point okay those are the other blocks all right so that's that for uh volatility 75 minutes let's look at step index on the daily time frame. this is the daily time frame of step index uh we can see on the daily time frame we can see a uh can we call this uh double top this is the first top uh this is the second top okay or we can call it a head and shoulder pattern uh this is the left shoulder this is the head and this is the right shoulder this is the right shoulder okay um the structure is um like we have a reversal happening around here or a retracement happening of this bullish move okay of this very bullish move okay where we have this low high higher low higher high yeah, we might be seeing higher low somewhere here before we register before price registers a higher high but we might be wrong price could just come back to where it started okay so that's that on the daily time frame. let's look at the four hour time frame step index looking at the four hour time frame you can see price was initially going up until we had a break up we have had a change of character Okay, change of character where it was confirmed that price is going down. Okay, so you might look for selling opportunities for now. If the four hour time time frame, uh, it might be a long time to sell, sell. Okay, uh, looking at the one hour time frame, one hour time frame shows the downtrend where you continue to have lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high. Like this is lower low. Okay. These are highs, high, then lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. We have another lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Okay. This higher high, higher low. But this is range on the on the one hour time frame. We have a range. Okay, where the buyers and the sellers are happy with one another until we have a range breakout uh, the range breakout might happen here or might just come here and descend okay so that's that on the one hour time frame. let's look at the 30 minutes time frame is there something we can see uh 30 minutes time frame we can see this bottom we can see this bottom we can see this bottom okay and this is higher this low is higher than this low okay um but it's still a range okay it's still a range okay if we now see a breakout of this neckline okay a break of this neckline can target first this high then secondly 
is high. Then we might see a recovery to the upside. Okay, but if price drops and breaks the low around here, if it drops and breaks this low, then we might see continuation of the downtrend. Okay, that's that for the 30 minutes time frame. Let's look at the uh, 50 minutes time frame. 50 minutes time frame pri price is ranging up for step index. Step index price is ranging up. It's ranging up. It's ranging up. Okay, it's ranging up. So we need to break this high for us to confirm that price will go higher and we need to drop price needs to drop below this uh ascending trend line for us to confirm that price is going to come down okay so but price is ranging on the 15 minutes time frame on the five minutes time frame do we have anything it's still ranging look at range bottom range bottom This is the range bottom, okay. And this is the range stop, okay. So a break of this range will tell us where price is headed. That's five minutes time frame. One minute time frame, still ranging. Look at price is ranging on the one minute time. Frame. So uh, wait for a range breakout on step index before you take a decision. And if you are a range trader, you could just place your buy limit at the range low. And your sell limit at the range high and try to scalp, try to scalp and make some profit. Okay, so that's that for this particular video. Um, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button, go ahead and like the video. Also, uh, drop comment below the video, ask questions, try as much as possible to respond to your question. You can also uh, click the bell button below the video. So that we will be notified when we send out the next video uh you can visit our website www.bnfxtrader.com to learn more how to trade a uh, volatility index you can also visit another website of us fxtradebooks.com to learn more how to trade uh vix till i come your way next time is bye for now